Today we have another leak concerning AMD RX Vega. If you remember just the other day we covered a news story which showed Vega performing rather underwhelmingly against the GTX 1080 actually falling behind it in a leaked Time Spy benchmark. But today we have some more information that is looking like it's going to actually be competing with the 1080 Ti. But as I discussed in that video, I believe that it was probably one of the lower end SKUs. And since we know there will be at least three SKUs, in the Vega lineup, codenamed as 687FC1, C2, and C3. It's looking like that was certainly the lower end SKU that had been codenamed in the, in the benchmarks as the C1 model, and now we have specs courtesy of a Linux graphics driver that was submitted by AMD that had all of the specs of the RX Vega GPU in there, and we've got that courtesy of WCCF Tech side-by-side -side with the RX 480 that is showing it at about double the compute performance of an RX 480 when we take a look at the hardware specs here. We can see both of these are on the 14 nanometer architecture with four shader engines, but that is where the similarities end. Is going from there, we can see it has 4,096 stream processors versus the 2,304 of the RX 480. And following that up, we've got 12 and a half teraflops of performance versus 5.8 teraflops in the RX 480. We're also expecting 64 ROPs, which is exactly double of the 32 on the RX 480, and 256 TMUs versus the 144 on the RX 480, as well as four more hardware threads than what was on the 480 as well. And then when you take into account the fact that it's going to be HBM2 with a 2048-bit memory interface versus the 256-bit of the RX 480. This is certainly looking like a very promising GPU for AMD that will be competing with the likes of the 1080 Ti just like they promised. So look, like I said, the numbers that we had the other day, that was probably the lowest end SKU in the Vega lineup, like I suggested in that video, and I'm still sticking with that because I think they're going to end up releasing these SKUs at three competitive points competing with the likes of the 1070, 1080, and the 1080 Ti at varying price points and probably differential as far as the specs are concerned. But these very well may be the specs of the top end Vega 10 GPU. And if that is the case, then it would certainly compete very well, I think, with the GTX 1080 Ti. I went ahead and threw some numbers that I ran recently with the GTX 1080 Ti along with my i7 6800K, and I took numbers from the RX 480 that I also did recently with that same CPU, and I doubled the FPS on the RX 480 so that we can get an idea of where this might lie. So this is really just speculation on my part, but seeing that it has literally double the compute performance of the RX 480, I don't think these numbers will be too far off from what we might actually see. And considering that they're trying to position this GPU against the GTX 1080, I think the numbers we're gonna see here would make a lot of sense. And this also does not even account for the fact that it's gonna have HBM2, which should help the performance even further, especially when we get into higher resolutions. But right here, we just have 1080p averages at the ultra preset. Like I said, I ran both, I ran the 480 and the 1080Ti pretty recently on my i7 6800K in the games that, I, that I'm showing here with the RX 480 performance just doubled. And with that taken into account, we can see that the Vega 10 GPU is performing extremely well, uh, winning out in titles like Rainbow Six Siege, GTA 5 Sandy Shores, Battlefield 1 on 64 player Amiens, and Hitman in DX11, pulling in commanding leads in games like that, and pretty darn close in others. It did fall behind in Overwatch, uh, The Division, as well as Watch Dogs 2, so almost basically a split here between these two cards in the games that we're showing here, but this is just pure speculation. It just really meant to serve as a, a talking point for me, as well as you guys down in the comments below, so I do look forward to seeing you know, what your thoughts are on this, if you think this is more in line with what we, what we might see on the top end Vega GPU from AMD. For me, this really looks very compelling. If this comes out and it does this type of performance and, you know, we can throw that in with a FreeSync monitor, which is, you know, objectively cheaper than anything G-Sync out there. And, you know, they've got some pretty great FreeSync panels as well. I've got a couple here right now in the studio. I would definitely want to be picking up a Vega 10 GPU if it can do these numbers up against the 1080 Ti like it looks like it might be doing. So, once again, don't forget to leave a like and uh, your comment down below so we can discuss these numbers further, and I will catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.